Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be showing you a quick and easy recipe for chicken leg quarters with a twist at the end. Stay tuned. Not only is this recipe quick and easy, it's also uh, very inexpensive. Got myself a bag of uh, chicken leg quarters. I'm gonna go ahead and open this baby up and get them out of the bag. Just uh, 10 pounds of chicken probably sent me back about, hell, I don't know, $4, maybe five. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna season it. I'm using, today I'm using uh, Morton Season All. You can use any seasoning you want. I, I even have some uh, seasonings that I link on the bottom of the description uh, below. If you guys are interested, go ahead and uh, check those out. But uh, you want to give them a nice little coating here. I'm being overly generous because as soon as you put them in uh, somewhere else, you move them to like, like I said, that bowl that I'm moving. Some of it is going to come off and I'm probably even going to add some of this even after the fact, depending on, on if it falls when I'm, when I'm putting them in the barbecue pit. Don't be shy. Worst case scenario, you over season the, the skin and you can just take that baby off if, if you think it's too much. So now that your chicken is nice and seasoned, the next thing you want to do here is you want to, of course, turn on your barbecue pit, light it up. Um, again, check out my links, uh, uh, or not my links, but check out my other videos. I do have a lot of, especially if you're new to grilling, smoking, or backyard barbecue, check out my videos. I have a lot of, my, my content is geared to, towards people who are novice or just starting off, and um, they have a couple of questions they want answered. So the first thing you want to do here is you want to light up your pit, you want to get your grate nice and hot, and then uh, give it a nice little cleaning. I got this baby from Grillaholics, right there, Grillaholics. Um, this one, you, uh, I have a link on the description below as well. So if you're interested, they'll give you a 20% off using this promo code, the smoking beer. So what I usually like to do, I just don't have one today right here, just because it's what I normally do. I like to uh, cut an onion in half and just kind of like slide it across the grill just to give me, it cleans it, but at the same time, it's more of the smell that that you get from a back traditional backyard barbecue southern backyard barbecue and i'm talking about deep south texas all right here we go next step lay the chicken down and then i'm going to give you a couple of tips that i recommend whenever you're cooking this what i also like to do here is uh before i put the chicken down or any type of food down i like to uh, spray it with can canola or vegetable oil it helps out all right, so you can see maybe here, there's a couple of pieces of chicken that that need that little extra coating. But not too much, not too bad. All right, so the next steps I'm gonna tell you are my personal steps. Doesn't mean the only way to do it, but these are just my personal steps. Especially when you're doing leg quarters, I just leave it as is. I'll come here, I'll close it. I'll monitor the temperature inside the smoker. I'll give it about an hour and a half, an hour to an hour and a half uh, at about 300 to 350 degrees. I like not to move it, but sometimes if you have a hot spot on your smoker, you might have to come over or your grill, you might have to come over and move them around a little bit. But in general, I would just leave it the way it is. While this is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you my uh, secret recipe. All right, so now for the moment everybody's been waiting for. Um, what you're gonna do here is once your, your chicken is ready to come out, what I like to do is I like to put it in a cooler and let it rest for a little bit. Uh, but only, only that, what I found is uh, by adding this extra ingredient after I put it in the cooler, it really does uh, bring your chicken game up to the next level. So what I normally do is get a uh, empty water bottle and I'm gonna get myself some of my favorite barbecue sauce I have uh, sweet baby rays 
I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pour some in here. It's not rocket science. It's a uh, it's a guesstimate. So about that much. Secret ingredient number one. Secret ingredient number two here is gonna be some of your pineapple juice. All right. So for this one, I will put my little funnel. Shake it. Well, let me open it. Let's get some air in it. Shake it up. And what you're doing here is you're going to be putting a, I guess you would call it like a marinade. But after the fact. It's an after the fact marinade. Let that baby get in there. Close this up. Shake it around. And this you can make as much or as little as you're going to need. I'm gonna show you what you're gonna do with this once I'm ready the for that step. The next step here, I would recommend you line a cooler with some heavy duty aluminum foil. So this is what you kinda want it to be like, kinda like a pocket of foil. Start pulling out the chicken. All I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna lay these flat on the cooler. You know what, I'm gonna put this on the floor so you guys can have a better view of it. See, what I did here is I did not move them at all. I did move them around the barbecue pit a little bit, but I didn't, I wasn't messing with them too much. It took about an hour and a half. You get a nice little golden brown look to these babies. Man, they smell good. All I'm doing is trying to layer them there as much as possible, as evenly as possible. I'm gonna stop right there and I am going to go ahead and apply the secret ingredient there's no uh nothing special about this the application you just drizzles them all over oops drizzles drizzle some of this on it okay if it's uh, overflowing a little bit close it up let me give you a, a good look at what it looks like on the inside you close that baby up you let it rest for about 15 minutes 20 minutes more or less you can leave it in there an hour or two if you need to as long as you have a good cooler and then you go to town on it it's as simple as that try this recipe out let me know what you think in the comments below Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys on the flip side.